Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you today? It's Robin Jana Rosenhaus, and I'm so happy to be here with you as always. <laughs> it is, what is it today? Tuesday, December 14, 2021. I have your daily energy report for you. Just a reminder, if you are watching this video on a different day, this energy is relevant to you at that time. Okay, so today, uh, you know, I, I, I need to like just mention something first. Um, we've been getting um, cards that are talking a lot about um, confirming that you're on the right path, right? So I, I don't know like who who it is <laughs> that needs to be reminded of this. And so I'm starting with the end in mind here, okay? Um, and that is, you're on the right path. Like, even, even if things seem, now we're going to go to the beginning. So even if things seem like you feel alone, you feel like, you feel like nobody can help you, you feel stuck um, nothing like you're, you're, you're tired and, and you're uninspired, right? All of that. It's okay. It's okay. Because you are on the right path. Okay. So here's how to turn that tired and uninspired around. Okay. And the loneliness or the feeling alone. Instead, instead of falling into that space of, here I am, I'm alone again, I got to do this myself, I don't have anybody who can help me. Instead of like falling into that old pattern, make a choice to see the alone time as a gift. You don't have to like the gift. We get lots of gifts that we don't like. And yet it's still a gift. So how can you use that energy to your benefit? Make it the time alone, a conscious time alone. Instead of um, looking at it from lack, right? There's a lot of people. I have, an, I have a couple of entrepreneur friends who have like young kids, they never get any time alone at all. You know, I get lots of time alone. <laughs> My kids are older now, you know, David works crazy hours. So I get a lot of time alone. And so the grass is always greener on the other side, right? So how do you make this time conscious? How do you make it work for you? Create some kind of nurturing ritual for yourself, right? Um, so you can journal, you know, per, with by candlelight, right? Um, or, or when you're sitting in your space, um, use essential oils, right? Either put them on or diffuse them. Right? I, I love, I don't have it here right this second. One of the essential oils that I love that helps me to feel uplifted is wild orange. And what I love about the wild orange or orange in general is that citrusy smell is uplifting. It, it wakes up your senses. From a metaphysical standpoint, orange attracts prosperity. So it's a really great oil to use. And so you start nurturing yourself and teaching yourself that you can feel uplifted, even if you're working in your business on your own. Even if you're the only one working in your business, you can feel that uplifting energy. Or even if you're, you know, even if you're uh, single and you spend a lot of time alone, especially after, you know, the past, the past 18, 20 months, I don't know, I don't know how long it is anymore, I lost count, 
Um, but there are things that you can do where you're being nice to yourself and it helps to lift the loneliness and move you into that more, I don't want to say positive emotions, but the more um, life-giving emotions, okay? Now, here's the next thing, it, that, that uninspired kind of feeling, right? Take it as a challenge. Make it a personal challenge. What can I do to dig deeper? What can I do to dig deeper into this situation? What can I do to shift the energy of this situation? What can I do to raise my level of consciousness so that I can see things differently? Right? So one, you know, one of the things that I do, I, I tell you, been telling you this for the past few days is I do that exercise that I taught you guys where you breathe in where, where you focus on your heart you pretend that you're breathing in and out through your heart and then you bring to mind a really positive emotion and you let yourself experience it like positive something that feels good an emotion that feels good to you right um, you know so so before we started today you know I I, I did that exercise and I asked what everybody needs for their money miracle, right? And, and, um, and I was like, when I was looking for the emotion to connect with, I was kind of transported back to last night. David and I went to, um, went to this place near us that does, you know, the drive through Christmas lights and, and all of that. And, um, and it was like very magical. First of all, it was magical because everybody that, you know, has been saying, oh my God, the waits are two hours long on the weekends, three hours long on the weekends, uh, a half an hour long during the week. And like we drove right up, drove right in. <laughs> it wasn't crowded. There wasn't anybody up or butts. We were able to take our time and go through. And it was just, it was magical. It was just a magical and fun and relaxing experience, right? Um, and so that, I, I, I was like, I brought that to mind and that's the energy that I chose to feel before I started talking to you today, right? And so it lifts my energy. It helps me to emit to you a more uplifting, hopeful, positive energy, right? So, from that space, if you sit there and you just ask the question, what's the solution to this, to this you know, challenge, problem, issue, whatever word you want to use, um, that I'm not seeing yet and is going to change things exponentially in a positive way, in a life-affirming way, in a life-giving way. You know, in the way that I want. Being in solitude while you're doing that is actually beneficial. Because it allows you to truly feel what's going on. And you might ask that question and be like, oh, the answer's not going to show up. You know what? Today's a new day. Today is a new day. That was before. The answer didn't show up before, but today is a new day. And that means the answer can show up today. Right? Or or even though the answers I've been asking these questions for what feels like forever and I haven't gotten an answer I'm willing to get that answer today right now immediately anyway or and I'm just giving you different ways of phrasing this so that you can find the way that works for you or after that thought of 
it's not going to show up. I, I'm, I'm completely stuck. I don't know what to do. This is just, I, I don't know. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing that can be done, blah, blah, blah. Nevertheless, I'm willing to have that answer and take action on it anyway. Nevertheless, I'm willing for that, that answer to show up right now. Right, so what you're doing is you're not ignoring any of the depleting, frustrated emotions. You don't ever want to devalue them, right? There's a reason that you're feeling them. So your emotions, I say your emotions are valid, but they lie, right? Because your emotions are often based on like subconscious programming, um, you don't even know it. Your, your subconscious is jumping to conclusions. It's, it's running patterns that it's used to running. And I'm giving you the opportunity to opt out of the pattern. Right? That those, all those little tools that I give you, they're so that you can opt out of the pattern. They're so you can choose something different. Even though you're feeling the way you're feeling. It's okay, right? So, uh, you know, that's, that's what I have for you today. And, and so, yes, you're on the right path. And I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm here to give you the encouragement that you need to hear. Um, you're, you are okay. Everything you're doing is okay. Is it always effective? It's not always effective. So what is the more effective way of doing this? Right? What is the more effective way of doing this? Am I willing to do that? Is there anything here that I'm resisting? Now, I hate to say this. I really hate to say this because I don't like it personally. <laughs> But oftentimes, that one thing that you're resisting, you're resisting it because your subconscious knows that it is going to create the change that you desire. Now, your subconscious is not being an asshole. Your subconscious is a terrified little child. It knows this, this, and this have worked. It knows that you are alive right now. So that means what you're doing is the right thing to do according to your subconscious it doesn't have the power of reasoning that's in the prefrontal cortex right so the resistance is based on old patterns old ways of being things that you know you you have judgments about and you don't even know why you really have the judgments but the, the thing that you resist most is often the way through. I hate to say it, you know, but it, it truly, truly is. It's often the way through. So if there's an idea that has been coming to mind that you are resisting, how can you implement anyway? You might have to make some tweaks to it. That's okay. But if there is something that you are resisting, how can you implement it anyway? Because if that particular line of action is not the exact line of action, the awareness, the skill set, the understanding uh, the new beliefs, the new attitude and confidence that you have as a result of pushing through somehow and taking those actions anyway will increase your consciousness to the level it needs to be to find the actual solution. That's only, you know, that's if the resistance itself, the action you're resisting itself, is not the response, it may be the path to the response to the solution. All right. Wow. 
I've been talking for a long time this morning <laughs> already. So I'm just going to remind you really quick that the 2022, um, no, I'm going to remind you real quick that the year end clearings are filling up. You really want to get yours now so that you don't have to wait too long. These, let me tell you, this is so you can wash away the energy of 2021 and any residual, you know, depleting energy that was left over from 2020 or really before that as well, right? This is so that you can truly get your fresh, st fresh start, at least from an energetic perspective for 2022. The weight of the world really feels like it gets lifted from your shoulders. You get more clarity. You get more understanding. Your confidence increases. All of this leads you to be able to take the actions that you need to be able to take so that you get more money, so that your, your relationships improve, so that life itself just gets better and you feel better right? There, this opens up the door for so many opportunities. And um, because, you know, nature abhors a vacuum, right? Normally we fill back up with love. and But instead, um, what I do is I give you my manifesting process. We do it for you, specific for you, with the top three things that you want to manifest faster and easier than ever before. That 10 minute process is also part of the clearing, right? And that helps you, like seriously, 10 minutes a day to help you manifest what you want faster and easier than before without the chaos that comes from up leveling things, right? You don't have to go through all of that because this particular way of manifesting, this process that I walk you through, helps calm your nervous system down. It gives your subconscious mind the, the comfort that it needs so that it doesn't get afraid when you start taking new actions and so that it just does, you don't have to start like fighting off those self-sabotaging behaviors. It doesn't matter where you are in life or business, right? You can be somebody who is just starting out in business. You can be an employee. You can be somebody who's like ready to make their next million or their next 10 million in business. All of these energies affect you. There's always another level of confidence that needs to be um, reached. There's always uh, another uh, level of resistance that needs to be broken through. You know, they say new level, new devil. Well, we're not going to make this new level, new devil. You know, instead, we're going to create a oh, oh, new level. Oh, new devil. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Not a big deal. Right? So if you want that, those are 375. Okay? Um, reach out to me, and, uh, and I'll explain to you the process and send you an invoice. Um, we're going to clear things for you that nobody else clears. Nobody else that I'm aware of clears. Let me put it that way. There are a few people, I know there are a few people who are aware of some of the energies that I deal with, but not all of them know how to clear it. I do. And let me tell you, it makes a difference between being able to trust your intuition and knowing you're actually connected with the universal energies of love and truth versus thinking that you are so just saying it's a game changer so reach out to me dm me email me info at robinjrosenhouse.com either one and let me know that you are ready for your year end energy clearing and we will get you started all right guys thank you so much for hanging out with me today remember when you align your energy you accelerate your results i will see you tomorrow Bye bye